Ah, uh, it's a wonderful day on Athena too. Uh, it's great this time of year. So, let's get on to some OSL talk, Ranchin. Um, have you been following OSL closely? Well, for the most part, yeah. Watching your commentaries, watching some stuff, making sure my favorite players get through, yeah. Who are your favorite players getting through? Well, well, I gotta say Jay Dong, I gotta mention Uita, Bisu, even though he friggin' cheated. <laughs> yeah, I was wanting to talk about that too, because just think of how much circumstance went into Bisu moving up. I mean, gosh, uh, backhoe, premature GGO there, and Firefist still let him through, and then backhoe got an injury, and then Bisu plowed through six games. And that was just insane. So... I don't know. I think he has a pretty strong chance of moving up if he can get past Dork. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very, very tough group. So, yeah, it's going to be Stork, Bisu, Yarnak, and July. It's a pretty strong group there. Although, with two Zergs, and if he man has managed to uh, get himself up there, I think he has a chance, most definitely. Unless he faces a Zerg on Tears of the Moon, because that didn't work out too well for him against By Hero. I don't know if many Protosses have figured out how to deal with Zerg on that map yet. So, if he doesn't face July on that map, I think he'll probably be okay. Although, mind you, as you have reminded every as you have reminded everybody, July is the guy that knows how to beat him again, and again, and again. Yeah, but Bisu has beaten July in the past, although the last time I remember was in the Incurit, and he faced July, and July kind of went for an all-in early Hydra push, so it was kind of a cheese. But every standard game I've seen between July and Bisu has ended in Bisu getting crushed because July just has really good timing on knowing when to break Bisu's front. Yeah, overall, I see, well, it's uh, the more fun part for me, at least, at that group is seeing how Stork and Bisu face off against Edric, because that's just such a good rivalry to pay attention to. It's actually going to be the first match the OSL uh, on Medusa, I believe, between Stork and Bisu, so I, that's definitely a good way to kick it off. I can't wait to commentate on that one, because that'll just be a fun match. Yeah, well, personally, I think Bisu and Stork will move out, but I think July and even Yarnak are definitely too big a factor to ignore there. Yeah, especially on Tears of the Moon, the dreaded anti-Protoss map. It's just so hard to forge fast expand. I read an interview with Bisu recently where he said that going gateway first just isn't a very viable strategy on a lot of maps nowadays, so he doesn't want to go gateway first on that map, but uh, he might have to if he's going to face Yellow or July on there. I think he's going to have a lot of trouble. Yeah, what are you going to do? But, um, I, if I remember correctly, you predicted, what was it, Stork in July? Yep, Stork in July. Just because, I mean, the game between Stork and Bisu is going to be very, very close. They're always close. Um, I think the last games they played against each other, Bisu ended up winning in a best of three. And uh, I forget the name of that tournament, but yeah. they. <laughs> it just depends on how Stork is playing, I think, because Bisu always plays well. He's been uh, kind of falling to Zergs left and right recently, but he's always been playing well. And Stork is just basically based on his mood <laughs> or and how badly he wants a championship as to how he plays. Yeah. So, yeah, but, you know, of course, not the only group to pay attention to. There's Group B, which I, I call Lita sweeping that thing completely. Completely? You think he's going to beat Fantasy? I think he definitely has what it takes to beat Fantasy. Yeah, because I, I'd known that Fantasy was great, great, great versus Terran. I've even seen him win a lot of uh, versus Terran recently. But you brought to my attention that he has lost quite a few times recently, and that's actually put his versus Terran record as his lowest record. Isn't that right? That is correct, indeed. Wow. I mean, the whole reason he moved up in the Incurate in the first place is because he faced so many Terrans, and he'd been plowing through them, so if, 
if that's a new weakness of his, I think he's going to have a tough time in that group as well. Grr, die, you freaking overlords! Communist sons of... Yeah, the main will probably be fine. <laughs> well, let's hope so. Eh, yeah, maybe they'll call us back. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, by hero and tester I don't think will be a threat, but Lita, I gotta say, some people are saying Lita's like the next Bonjoa, and this sh stuff is really, really irritating me. Um, okay, I gotta get this off my chest here. Boxer, I love Uvi, Nada, and Savior. Those were the Bonjois. And with Savior, the era of the Bonjois has ended. That's it. There will be no more Bonjois in StarCraft number one. Everybody thought Jadon was going to be a Bonjois. He wasn't. He was good, but he didn't. Flash, he, they thought he was going to he was the ultimate weapon that he would kill everybody forever. He didn't. Didn't happen. Now everybody's saying, Lita, oh, he's got so many wins, he's going to be the next Bonjois. There will be no other Bonjois. I mean, look at the Tyke Bang era. It lasted like a day. Stork just stopped right now getting high off of his first gold. <laughs> Been sniffing his gold a lot. Bisu has just recovered from the 10 on 1 orgy he had after winning his third MSL. I mean, you saw how he was playing that one day. Uh, lost to a no-name Protoss after his first game after winning the MSL. And lost that game. And Taza, the no-name in question, probably freaking creamed his pants after winning his first game against Bisu of all people. And <laughs> just, I don't see, I do not see Lita being the Bonjoa. I say, he's, I really like his play. I really like him as a player. Um, if there was a uh, blow-up doll slash... You know, teddy bear of Lita, I would buy two, one to hug while I sleep, and the other for more <clears throat> private uses. But all in all, I love Lita, but no, <laughs> oh, there will be no more Bonjois. Okay, uh, ranchin' rant done for the day, yeah. <laughs> that was a good rant. It's a little pessimistic, but I think I actually agree with you. It's quite hard to be the number one awesome uh player of StarCraft right now just because everyone else is just so good. I mean, yeah, like you said, I think it did end with Savior. Once BC went in there and showed that there is a weakness in uh, the way Savior played and then Savior was never really able to recover. And just so many players know each other's weaknesses and they've, they can work very hard on correcting uh, their own weaknesses and uh, working to, towards their own strengths. You're right, it's just so hard to stay on top. We saw that Jadong last year won the OSL, and everyone thought, hey, he's the best thing since sliced bread, but um, even he went into a slump. So I think you're absolutely right. Lita might actually win the OSL, but um, yeah, I don't think he's going to stay on top, even if he does. Yeah. Well, but I definitely think he's going to keep playing well. So yeah, Group C, we're pretty much in agreement that Best and Flash will move on. Yeah, I think pretty much everyone's in agreement with that, because <laughs> I was looking at my uh, my comments section, just everyone's predictions, and almost everyone said best in Flash. So Hwasen and Up Magic um, kind of got the short end of the stick there. Well, what are you gonna do? It's gonna be a very good games, I think, though. And Group D, GG play Cal Luxury Jadong. Cal, a Zerg killer, but three very strong Zergs against him there. And Jadong, of course, killing Zerg in ZVZ. So uh, I think Cal and Jadong. You? Yep, those were my picks. Although a lot of people seem to be predicting Luxury uh, versus, I mean, Luxury and Jadong moving on. Because Luxury's been playing probably just well, as well Luxury. as Cal. Yeah, sorry, uh, just that he, well, Cal did lose to Luxury in the MSL, but that's another p topic. Our dropship is here, apparently. Oh, dropship's here. We gotta go. But we will argue about this later, and we gotta move on to some MSL stuff later. No problem. There we go.